Hello again, basketball fans. Welcome to High School Hoops Weekly. I'm Rachel George, joined by Tim Hauer. It is the uh, first week of the playoffs. Greenville next week for the regionals, and we are here to tell you who is in and who is not. We'll start with the girls, and I've got the who's not going to make it. And unfortunately, these are teams that we just can't see getting uh, out of the bracket this week. East Columbus girls, really good season, but a tough one tonight. River Mill Academy, 29-4, a ranked team. Just can't see them moving on in the road there. Union girls, same thing, good season, but they're at Goldsboro tonight. If they can survive that, they'll probably have River Mill on Friday. One of those games, I think, is going to catch them up. Uh, North Brunswick girls, they make it to the second round, but they're at number three north side tonight. Jacksonville north side is still undefeated. Uh, I know you said you think the Scorpions have a chance, but I just kind of can't see them getting past them. Uh, West Brunswick girls are at home tonight. Uh, I think that's a maybe winnable game. I wouldn't be surprised if they advance to Friday, but then they'd probably face Havelock, who I just think is a better team. Laney girls on the road at Fayetteville E.E. E. Smith, 22-1. Just, again, the better team. And then also Ashley is at home tonight against 71st, 22-4. Might be winnable, but 71st put up 96 points the last game, and Ashley hasn't put up 96 points in, in some two games, so I just you know have a hard time seeing them getting past that. Those are the teams we might not make it. Who do you see getting to Greenville? Yeah, I think we've got two teams that have a really good shot at making it. Um, mm -hmm. You know, East Bladen, it's a staple mm -hmm. in their program to get to Greenville. I don't see mm -hmm. them slipping by. Um, mm -hmm. Is slipping up. I, I think Jacksonville Northside yep. will be a tough one on Friday if they advance um, on Wednesday night, but I think that'll be an easy game. At Northside will be tough, two undefeated teams, but right. I'll give Patty Evers' team the uh, advantage there. And then also Pender Girls. We like mm -hmm. their draw, um, and they've got home matchups yeah. um, on Wednesday and if they win on Friday. So, you know, th that's always a, a good place to play, a nice environment there. Yep. And especially if the boys keep winning, there'll be a ton of fans. Yep. And uh, so we like the Pender Girls to advance as well. Absolutely, and, and as you mentioned, uh, Pender could have a one seed on Friday, but South Rob coming out of the Three Rivers Conference, I just think Pender's faced better teams, beaten better teams, so we'll see how they do. The boys' side, who's not going to make it? Yeah, we don't think West Columbus will make it. They've got um, Raleigh Charter on Wednesday night. That'll be a tough game, and then if they somehow get it past that, they'll have uh, Walsh, Rose Hill, or Goldsboro, right. two just tremendously athletic teams and mm -hmm. you know West Columbus has some good athletes but I just don't think they can get up and down yep. with those two teams. Um, North Brunswick boys they'll have a tough one they'll be at Clinton another team with a ton of athletes they'll mm -hmm. just keep sending kids in and just try to run as much as they can and then Hoggard boys probably the toughest matchup yeah. um, up at Terry Sanford um, coached by their former coach Bill Boyette mm -hmm. played in the state title last year undefeated ranked number one in the state if anybody can get it done, it's probably Brett Queen because he's a <laughs> tremendous coach and he can game plan. Yeah. He, he know, he'll know Bill Boyette's system, but I still don't see it happening. Yeah, just not enough not enough horses this year for Hoggard. So who the boys that are going? Uh, Gary Battle's going to have double duty, we think. I think the Pender boys probably have a better shot than the Pender girls. 25-1 uh, and one will be at home uh, throughout the week. Matchup potentially with Red Springs that should be on Friday, the one seed out of the Three Rivers as well. I just don't see anybody who can keep up with their speed or their size. There's nobody in 1A as big as them. You know, maybe we'll get to Winston-Salem Prep down the road and see what they have, but uh, definitely no one can keep up with that. Walsh-Rose Hill is kind of a question mark for me. If the Bulldogs can beat Goldsboro on the road Wednesday, I say they're in. I don't think there's anybody that they'll face on Friday who's better. This will be the tougher game for them. And then also, I know you were a little bit skeptical of this, but West Bladen saw them play in the Walkmaw Championship and they they, as I said, they're the new Hanover of 2A. They've got athletes just everywhere on the court. If they can uh, play well and, and stick to Coach Cross's defensive plan, I think they'll be okay versus Clinton. My question mark is new Hanover. I think that the Wildcats have a legitimate chance to get back, but they have to win the Wednesday night game against Pine Forest. Pine Forest finished second in the Mid-South uh, East Conference to Terry Sanford, so definitely not a bad team. Helps the Wildcats that they're at home. I don't think there's anybody that they could face on Friday who's unbeatable, so if they can win Wednesday, I think they've got a pretty good chance to get back to Greenville. Yeah, the question mark for New Hanover will be, the, can they get a fourth player right. to step up? Because you know what you're going to get out of Freddie Jackson, Detwan Rogers, and Cole Daly. Mm -hmm. They're going to all put up 15 points probably or more. Right. you got to get that fourth scorer. And yep. if they can do that, I think they're, they're good. Well, we will see. We'll be back next week to, uh, I guess, see how accurate we were and, and discuss what's going on in Greenville. But for this week, for Tim Hauer, myself, Rachel George, this has been High School Hoops Weekly on StarNewsOnline.com.